another hanging laundry video. Um, I just watched two videos from by Logic Rolls the Dice. They're very good videos, actually, uh, quite insightful. A um, couple of things I really wanted to respond to in those videos. Um, first thing, I want to make clear, I can't see anything that you post on my channel, Logic Rolls the Dice. Um, I don't know why. Uh, uh, there was that sort of symbolic falling out that we had a while back, which, you know, I sort of didn't really take all that seriously. But unfortunately, I did hit the block button, and when I de-blocked everything, something didn't take or whatever, uh, which is a great shame. It's a sh source of endless frustration to me that I can't actually see your comments. Um, uh, so anyway, um, I don't know what we can do to get around that. I, um, I suggested that maybe you could post on my channel as Emmanuel Kant. I sent an email off to YouTube, uh, send feedback. I wasn't terribly optimistic of getting a satisfactory response, uh, and I haven't gotten any response at all. <laughs> um, be that as it may, well, there you are. I'm sure there's a workaround for this. We can uh, uh, interact some way or other. Um, but anyway, that's the issue um, that I guess is sort of something that I would like to sort of fix one way or another, because I find you one of the more interesting people on YouTube, and I would like to be able to interact with you again uh, without this irritating handicap, um, which I really can't complain about YouTube being a free service. <laughs> um, I always tell everybody I'm allergic to alcohol. This is one of these, I love the taste of beer, can't drink it, I'm allergic. This is one of those um, weird non-alcoholic beers that are sold in the Middle East. Um, actually, in the Middle East you can get alcohol easily enough, but I guess if you want to drink it openly out in a cafe or something like that, it's a little bit sort of less socially gauche to be drinking non-alcoholic beer. That way you won't put people on edge to sort of think, well, we've got to behave in a certain way around this person because he might be getting drunk. If you're obviously drinking non-alcoholic stuff, you're just saying, look, I want a loungy kind of drink, beer, etc., so I'll, I'll take the non-alcoholic stuff. I found that Turkish non-alcoholic beer and German were almost the best. German non-alcoholic beer is very good. And you sort of think, why on earth would anyone drink this stuff? Well, I'm kind of like the Germans. I like the taste of beer in and of itself. I like to just uh, drink beer in the morning or whatever. But I have that handicap. I, my body will not tolerate alcohol anymore. Um, so I buy this stuff. And when, when I can get it, this isn't... As far as non-alcoholic beers goes, this Laziza apple-flavored stuff, which I didn't know was apple-flavored when I bought it. I wasn't paying close attention. Uh, it's, for non-alcoholic beer, it's pretty dismal stuff, but it tastes almost like a, you know, extremely low-alcohol English cider. It's actually pretty good. I think it's real apple flavoring they have in this, or real apple concentrate or something. So it tastes good. Um, when I was able to actually stomach alcohol, I really had a taste for uh, British and um, French cider, and this is kind of close to that. <laughs> the alcoholic stuff, although this, again, no alcohol. Um, I don't know, it, that aside, <laughs> I um, yeah, I just thought I'd clarify something about the... the, the as I say, symbolic sort of falling out that we had, which I didn't really see as much of a falling out. I just thought, well, hmm, under the circumstances, I kind of have to do something here, or, you know, to, you know <laughs> the things that were said. So I reacted, and then I just sort of said, okay, this will probably blow over very quickly, and it did, I, just as I predicted. Um, but one of the things that I... I don't know. It sort of left dangling. Um... The fact that, in a certain sense, I have um, some responsibility for what happened. Now, you mentioned the fact that you often rub people the wrong way without meaning to. I know that I do that to people. Um, it's, I don't know, my sack of rocks to carry around, but I don't carry it around like a sack of rocks anymore. If I infuriate people, I infuriate people. There's nothing I can do about it. And I'm not, I, I'm, it's not that I don't care anymore, but I understand the fact that, you know, at my age, I'm not going to change. It's not going to alter anything if I make huge efforts to change my personality. There's only so much you can change about yourself. Um, and uh, I guess I 
hit a few of your buttons, which triggered something, which, you know, resulted in the issue that we had. And I guess I would have to say that I apologize for that in hindsight. I didn't mean to do anything like that. Um, I didn't, uh, I, you know, generally when I infuriate people, it's, it's unintentional. If I think that a conversation is getting hot, I generally say, uh, all right, uh, let's just back off from this, whatever. Um, but that's often insufficient, especially if somebody's talking about something that's important to them. Um, and again, I guess it's it's by way of an apology. I'm not going to apologize for being what I am. That's kind. Of, it's not that I'm refusing to do that. It's just kind of ridiculous to apologize for being what one is. I would not expect you to do that. Um, but I will just sort of say that there was no intent at annoying anybody or infuriating anybody. Um, but I do know that I have that tendency. I call myself, uh, or I say that I have what's known as, or what I've coined uh, as, an itching powder personality. Itching powder, by its very nature, is irritating. It can't be other than irritating. <laughs> Um, and I believe, or for whatever reason, I tend to have that effect on people. But um, I guess I have the advantage of sort of thinking, well, all right, experience has taught me that that's not going to change. So um, maybe uh, when I'm talking about things that are really interesting to me, I just let myself go, as opposed to keeping up the sort of necessary mask that many of us have to wear when we're out in public, which I take it you don't like to wear at all, um, I can do it. I can wear a mask. It is exhausting, but at least I'm aware of the fact that, I, that this is work. It's not enjoyment. If I go out to a party that I know I'm not going to enjoy, and I'm going out for other reasons than my own enjoyment, i.e. Uh, to avoid uh, my friends feeling like I'm snubbing them, or because my wife wants to go, or something like that, I'll go out and I'll act like I'm having a great old time, and I'll, by the time the party's over, I'm like, oh, thank God. You know, but yeah, you, sometimes in life you got to do stuff like that, and that's the mask that I can wear. Um, here on YouTube, I wear another mask. I'm actually a lot more, <laughs> believe it or not, I'm a lot more abrasive in, <laughs> in person than I am on YouTube. Uh, that's saying something, isn't it? Um, but I tend not to sort of hold back, at least on my opinions, even though I try to be diplomatic about it. I'll say things that are going to absolutely infuriate people. Now, I fully expect people to say things that infuriate me. Um, so, again, it's, um, you know, that's kind of a rule that I can set for myself. And, you know, you just, <laughs> there's no guarantee that the other person that you're dealing with understands that. So, anyway, I guess that's what happened when our, uh, when the apple cart got um, tipped over there a while back. And I, I would like to actually somehow figure out a way that we can get back on track in terms of interacting. I think that we're, we're cool, actually, as far as me and you are concerned. It's just the technicalities of YouTube uh, that I can't seem to surmount. <laughs> uh, maybe somebody can help me with that, some way of figuring out how I can get uh, Logic Rolls the Dice's posts to be visible to me. Because I get the emails, and I see the, you know, the little short blurb, the beginnings of the message that he sends. And I go, oh, goody. And then I click, go on there, and the message just isn't there, but I see a bunch of other people responding to it. It's irritating me. There, see, I do have a fuse. <laughs> um, so anyway, if we could get this fixed, um, I would um, I would appreciate it. Or if not, maybe we could get some sort of work around or whatever. Um, I don't know what we could do. But as I say, I, I find you logic to be at least in the top 1% of the most interesting people on YouTube. The other people that I find interesting know who they are. <laughs> um, and um, they're, it's pretty predictable. Um, and uh, I... Um, as I say, it, it just seems a shame that it's that I'm incapable of getting past this. I wouldn't have done it if I'd, if I'd known this was going to be the outcome, because as I said, it was kind of just a symbolic act anyway that is blown up in my face. Um, anyway, um, enough said. Um, just uh, by way of something of a shout out, if you want to, if you're interested, Logic Rules the Dice did a pretty couple of quite good videos, kind of uh, certainly not bearing his soul, but talking about, I don't know, by way of explanation, um, what to read into 
how he presents his arguments and how he reacts to you. Very healthy, actually, if you sort of think, okay, well, you know, I can see a lot of people thinking this about him, uh, or about you, Logic. Uh, well, if you didn't have this, 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 or this attribute in your, in your personality, uh, you'd be an incredibly interesting person to deal with. But, you know, it's this other stuff that, uh, um, that you know, is difficult to deal with. Just an explanation of that. And uh, to sort of to those who are sort of interested in what he has to say, and uh, certainly the way that he puts his arguments and his obvious brain power, which is superior to mine, and I'm not being condescending when I say that. I believe that that's the case. Um, yeah. So yeah, I would I would ask anyone who's interested to uh, to watch that video because I the, the, both of those videos because they're quite good. Um, but again, it's it's you know one of those things where somebody who's not used to talking about themselves is talking about themselves. So um, anyway, I'll just uh, put this up and see where it goes, see what uh, discussion uh, results.